So hi dear Libra, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general love reading for all the Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you in the first place. The second thing, this is a reading from 21st till the 30th of April. The third thing, this is for those people who are in no contact or in separation right now in their uh, relationship. So let's start. Libra, <clears throat> your person's current feelings for you right now are, let's see. Let's see. We got the Hermit card, the Two of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Wow. Somebody feels like this is a, a soulmate connection, okay? Somebody who is uh, like on the surface level, this person is moving on from you, moving on towards karma water, moving on towards a different life, towards a different chapter of their life, might be towards a different person. Okay, they're in this energy of, you know, focused on money, job, career and very much focused on their own independence right now. And they're showing you that they're not interested in you or they don't uh, want you the way uh, they want you back, like uh, in the past or something like this on the surface level this person might be showing you that they don't care about you all they care about you right now is the money job career their independence all this thing right but i do think that uh, inside of them i don't know what is wrong with me today i'm not able to you know do the readings also hope on upon effect <laughs> i will make a video on this today so anyway so i do see that uh, Why the hell I'm blushing now? Anyway, so somebody is uh, constantly thinking about the soulmate connection, the soulmate kind of level of energy that they felt with you. This is kind of a wish fulfillment for them to come back to you and have a soulmate kind of relationship with you. So somebody is in this energy of dying to be with you. Honestly speaking, but like Libra, there is somebody around you who loves you a lot, who still consider you as a soulmate kind of energy. And this is kind of a wish fulfillment for them to be with you forever. Yep. They are thinking a lot about this, thinking hard and long about this a lot. See, this person feels like having a happily ever after kind of energy with you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or Virgo energy. Even if it is not, just go with the energies, not with the signs. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions? We have the Ten of Wands, the Page of Swords and the Higher of Wands. Okay death and rebirth okay after this separation breakup or whatever happened between you guys this person wants to transform this situation 100 percent they don't want to be in the same energy uh, that you guys used to share with each other this person wants to transform this energy completely and they want to you know plant new seeds plant new seeds in the in the soil and wants a new plant wants, wants this relationship with a new angle with a new energy wow this is somebody who wants to cut the crap Cut the burdens of situation, cut the stress, cut, cut the anxiety out of the situation and they want to have a happily ever after kind of energy with you and or a marriage with you. This is what this person wants from you, from this situation, from this connection. They want to clearly and honestly tell you that they want to be with you for the long term, you know, or for in some cases forever, for, for in some cases long term partnership, uh, marriage and or commitment kind of energy they want to have with you. Wow. They don't want to play mind games. They don't want to confuse you. They don't want to play games with you. They just want to be with you. Taurus energy and uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Even if it is not, uh, just go with the energies, not with the signs. Let's see what action this person is going to take towards you, if any, by the 30th of April. We do see the hanged man, the king of wands, the ten of swords. Oh my god. Why people are creating so much chaos in the situations? Somebody is deeply, deeply sad and heartbroken because of whatever happened between you guys, Libra. Okay. So somebody definitely wants to have this happily ever after kind of energy with you, but they are not going to take any kind of action because uh, they are feeling like they have done everything that they could possibly do in the situation to make this situation work out. But instead, the, you guys separated, you guys broke up with each other. In some cases, this person is feeling betrayed by you. In some cases, you are feeling betrayed by them. So there is some kind of stuck energies in the situation which is uh, like uh, stopping this person to take any kind of action for, towards you. Although they want to uh, take action but they are not. Nothing. Very sad, depressed and feeling lonely and all this uh, for you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see what uh, is the guidance for you people for this situation. What is wrong with me today? I don't know. <laughs> hope on upon effect let's see we have the empress the queen of cups in reverse and the knight of swords 
You got a heal, my dear. Libra, this is your card only. Libra and Taurus. Empress card is for Libra and Taurus because it's a sign of Venus. And uh, uh, Taurus and Libra are both ruled by Venus only. So, yep. Empress is card of Taurus and uh, Libra. So, uh, until unless you will start loving yourself and until unless you are going to be 100% honest with your own energies, with your own emotions, you are never going to grow the way you want to grow. Because you are running away from your own emotions. There is no self-love, there is no self-care, there is no self-healing. There is no this energy of, okay, I love myself, I, I can take care of myself, I, I can have all the love of the universe with me. You don't have that as an, any such kind of feeling right now. At least for the time being, no. So, if you want to have this growth and expansion in your life, in any area of your life, you have to start from self-love, self-healing and taking care of your own energies. If you, like, if you will constantly start running away from your own feelings, you will keep running away and you will never find the, you know, uh, uh, you can say right person or right situation. Because you are not 100% honest with yourself right now, Libra. There is something that's bothering you very much. There is something that you need very badly. There is something that you feel very badly, but you are trying to run away from that constantly because you don't want to feel it or you don't want to, you know, uh, uh, think about it. Running away is not the solution here, Libra. Not the solution at all. Don't run away. Feel it, heal it, release it. Then only the growth and expansion will happen in your life the way you want to be. That is the only solution. Nothing else or no one else can do it for you. This is just your only own. This is just your own interpersonal energies that you have to deal with and uh, release it. So thank you so much for tuning in Libra. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.